Hi Aries, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of February the 8th to February the 15th. I want you to understand that this is a general reading. Should you desire an accurate reading, one that would address any questions that you need answered, then you would have to go to my website www.brendatarot.info and that's where you'll find my website and how you can schedule an appointment with me. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can for a reading. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel, for sharing these videos and for all the new people coming in requesting readings. You now are welcome into the circle and for all my return clients. You are in the circle. I hold space for you and we are now becoming friends. I want to start this week with our going back to our regular tarot reading and not the one I did last week. However, uh, the consensus was uh, it was uh, successful. Out of all the replies that came in to feedback on those videos, only two people did not care for them. Keeping in mind, this is a general reading. So today I am going back to my seven card tarot reading. We start today, Aries, with a fire card. And you have, my friend, been given the three of fire. And this is telling me that some of you should be expecting some good news. You should be expecting something coming into you in the form of abundance. And things are looking much better. They're looking very, very good. Um, you need to have patience at this time, though, because it is coming. And you may be a, bit, a little bit impatient waiting for it. But know that it, when, when it comes in, it's going to change your life immediately for the better. On Tuesday, my friend, you've been given a major card. And this major card is the Renewal card. So this is telling me that some of you have been dealing with a situation in your life, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a situation at work, whether it's communicating with someone close to you, and you've pretty much done everything that you can do. You pretty, and, and you seem to feel like you're at the end of your rope. Uh, that there's nothing more that you can do to change or make this better for yourself. The renewal card is all about knowing that it is the time to move on. So you need to turn around and go in an entirely different direction if you have been dealing with a situation like that. This is all about transitions. It's all about looking at a situation in your life differently doing and taking on a different perspective to it. Uh, looking at that situation completely different and turning around and moving on and away from it. Um, you need to take a favorable assessment of everybody's motives when you're doing this and, uh, and, and make sure that you, uh, that you know the only direction to go is to turn around and move forward in a different direction. On Wednesday, crowning your week, you've been given another air, or rather, you've been given an air card, and this is the Ten of Air. And as I've told you before, air cards have to do with communicating with other people, with situations that often circulate around the legal system, uh, which circulates around judgment and uh, justice and um, injustice that comes into us. This is telling me that some of you have been communicating with uh, situations like this in your life uh, in the past and uh, recently and that now you need to know that you're at the end of that difficult situation. So this is a good sign for you. Uh, this will involve change and they want you, my guides are telling me, to tell you that you need to embrace that change, accept that change and move forward with it and expect things when you do to get better. Okay, They'll get better right away when you accept it and embrace it. Now, they're also showing me that this, that there are some out there that are dealing with addictions. And addictions can be many, many different forms, come in many different forms. But they're telling me that you will be, or they will be recovering from this addiction. Now, on Thursday, you've been given the lovers, my friend. And this is all about, of course, intimate relationships. And it's about making choices and balancing your energy when you are in a relationship that's intimate like that. So you need to carefully weigh your decisions when you are closely linked in a partnership like that. 
and uh, and and make sure <clears throat> that you keep yourself balanced emotionally and mentally to deal with any uh, of these uh, life-changing decisions that you're going to make and you're going to be sharing with another individual. Now, it's telling me also that some of you uh, or people close to you have been dealing with health issues. This is a card that represents the return to good health. So you are returning or someone close to you to good health and to stop worrying about it that you are in good health. On Friday you've been given a fire card and fire cards have to do with setting our dreams and motions and our ideas and self-development, sometimes a little bit of risk taking. This is telling me that you've been working on something in your life, some of you, and that you now have accomplished that. You are independent, you're confident, and now you can spread your wings and fly. You can jump off that cliff and fly right now and things are going to be fine. <clears throat> you should stop underestimating yourself <clears throat> and know that you're capable of handling any situation coming into you right now. Because when you do, you're going to be able to demonstrate and assert your own independence and your own creativity. On Saturday, you've been given another air card, and this is the six of air. And this is telling me again that if you've been dealing, uh, communicating with people, and you've been dealing with a situation that has to do with justice and making fair decisions, or uh, feeling that you've had an injustice coming into you, or you're dealing with legal issues right now with lawyers and attorneys, that you need to know things are looking up. They're going to get better, okay? And you're at the end of this difficult situation. Again, that's what the other card was telling you as well. Uh, the Ten of Air, this is the Six of Air. This is confirming that things are improving for some of you in that department. <clears throat> now, it shows me that some of you are actually going to be going on a vacation or taking a trip. Now, the trip could have to do with, uh, could be job related, it could be uh, a situation in another part of the world where you need to be go, go, you need to go because you're being called to go there for reasons. Anyway, they're showing me that this trip will involve going over a large body of water and perhaps you will actually be in a boat. At the end of the week on Sunday, you've been given an earth card. And the earth cards have to do with the abundance and the material part of our lives and what we bring into our lives that way and often with the in the form of currency uh, with our jobs, professions and so on. Um, this is telling me that you are, some of you are going to be getting, be going to be getting recognized for the work that you actually do at your place of employment because they, they refer to your work as very, very high quality work. You know how to do it and you do it well, my friend. So uh, they're showing me also that you are a terrific team player and that's part of your job skill with the job that some of you do have. And they show me also that you have the power of creativity within yourself. So what you're doing is uh, y your mind works creative creatively and uh, your hands work creatively and uh, that's who you are is a very very creative person. Now at the end of this tarot reading I did incorporate that one card uh, that one oracle card and I'm using the Ascended Masters and the card that they gave me my friend is freedom. Where are we here? There we go. We'll get you up here with the camera. There is the freedom card. Now, this is telling me basically that um, some of you um, need to leave a situation. There's a situation in your life right now that you need to get out of and you, you need to leave because you've pretty much outgrown that situation that you're in. It can have to do with a relationship. It can have to do with anything in your life right now. You need to leave it because you've outgrown it. Um, and you need to question the validity of any rules that have been imposed upon you. Okay, so think about uh, what someone is expecting of you right now and say, you know, is that really fair? Is that really who they think I am? Um, and also allow the universe, my friend, to support you while you make your desired life changes. Okay, again, I talk about that, the law of attraction, what you are and what you toss out into the universe is going to come back fast and hard at you. So make sure it's what you really, really want. Like I say, be careful what you pray for. And you know what, they're telling me that some of you need to be assertive and say no to anyone who's overstepping boundaries with you, my friend. That's what the Freedom Card represents here. 
I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to. Today the quote I have for you is, don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds you plant. See you again next week, my friends, and know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you.